welcome to the More Than Just a Type podcast, a place where we explore what it takes to live your best life. I'm your host, Taja Cato, expert in type 1 diabetes and fat loss, entrepreneur, and lover of all things fitness and personal development. Each week, we'll bring you a tangible tool, tip, or insight that'll inspire you and empower you to take action, achieve your goals, and live your best life. Okay, so this episode is one of the first episodes that we ever did on this podcast, and I gotta be honest, I was listening to it, and I'm like, ugh, like, my god, I'm talking way too fast. Like, slow down, you're not gonna miss the plane. (laughs) It's just, yeah. Anyways, I, I don't know about you, but it's like, when you are looking back at, like, I don't know, maybe an old photo or maybe something that you said or wrote or whatever. It's like, you're just like, why? Why did I, why is it like that? Like, it's painful. (laughs) Anyways, that's part of growth. And honestly, I wanted to share this episode because I do think that the content inside this episode is going to be really beneficial for you. And you're going to learn some really quick tips or some really actionable tips on setting your macros and macros are the amount of protein fat and carbs that your body needs I think we cover that in this episode yeah so anyways I just wanted to say that because I apologize that I'm talking a mile a minute but maybe you can slow it down a little bit on your end I don't know anyways you're gonna get some really good takeaways from this episode. So I really hope that it is helpful to you. And if it is, if you enjoy this episode, then please do take a second to rate and review this podcast. You can do so by scrolling down on your device, tap the stars to rate the podcast, and then just click to leave me a quick review. Let me know what you enjoyed most about this episode or what you're enjoying most about listening to this podcast. Thank you for your support. I've been getting asked a lot lately about what supplements I take to stay healthy and keep my immune system strong. I know we're in a weird period right now where like your immune system is just really important. I know so many people are like taking vitamin D and just really taking all of these supplements to help support their immune system through this crazy time. So I wanted to quickly share with you the supplements that I take and honestly, I don't take that many. So I do take a high quality multivitamin. I take vitamin D. I take vitamin C. And sometimes I supplement with a protein powder. And that that's like my top core. I mean, sometimes I'll take other supplements, but that's what you will find on my counter all the time. Like that is what I can't go without. And I try to get most of my protein intake from whole food sources alone, but if I don't hit my daily protein, that's when I will supplement with a protein powder. And First Form is my favorite. It tastes delicious. I buy the whey protein and the plant-based sometimes. I swap between flavors. And when it comes to my multivitamins and my immune support, I buy, it's called Micro Factor. It's from First Form and they're really easy to take. They're travel size packets with all of the vitamins that you need. So no more carrying around bottles or trying to remember everything that you have to take because that's always such a hassle. And the other thing that I didn't know is that not all vitamins are created equal. So when I started getting really serious about my health and fitness journey and my blood sugar management, I just started being really aware of everything that I was putting in my body. And I realized that a lot of these supplements that you buy from, say, the pharmacy or the grocery store, a lot of these different supplements actually contain fillers and additives and sometimes sweeteners. And that's not really that cool because fillers can actually make it so your body doesn't absorb the proper nutrients that you're trying to take. And so that's why I always recommend, you know, paying a little bit extra just to know that you for sure are getting the right nutrients in the right form so that you know that what you are taking is actually going to work. And I've been taking first form since 2017. I love their products. I'm obsessed. I normally don't talk about products that often because I'm really picky, but this is one that if you are looking at different supplements or you feel like you need a protein powder to hit your protein targets every day, then definitely check out first form. And if you use my link, you do get free shipping on 
all of their products and active wear and anything on their website. So I am affiliated with them. And when you use my special link, I get a commission so that I can buy more of the products that I love and share them with you. If you want to check them out, just go to tajacato.com forward slash first form. So first and that's spelled with the number one and then S-T. So first form and then form is spelled P-H-O-R-M. So tajakato.com forward slash first form. And I'm also going to link to this in the show notes because I totally feel like I probably just confused you. All right, so today we're going to be talking about macros, and so many of you have been asking me, what percentage should my macros be? Should it be 40, 30, 30 for protein, fat, and carbs, and what percentage should they be just to live a healthy lifestyle? And I'm going to make this super quick and actionable so that you can walk away today having a little bit more clarity and... The first thing that you need to know when it comes to setting your macros is don't worry about the percentage because there's not one single set percentage that is going to work for everyone and your total calories are going to determine the exact percentages of your macros. And so the very first thing you want to do is set your protein intake. Protein is going to be number one and then you're going to set your fat. Fat and protein are both essential macronutrients, and then carbs are gonna take up the remainder of your calories. So they're gonna be the last percentage that you will calculate. And so for your protein intake, you wanna make sure that in order to live a healthy lifestyle, say you wanna maintain your weight, that you set your protein in an adequate amount. So protein is generally set between 0.7 to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight, and the higher range is really for those who are quite a bit leaner and are trying to lose fat. And so for a healthy individual who's exercising regularly, you generally wouldn't want to consume any less than 0.7 grams per pound of body weight. And then for fat intake, it's important that you're consuming a minimum amount of fat every single day, which is set at 0.25 grams per pound of body weight. And this is to keep your hormones balanced. So once you have these two macros calculated, then the remainder of your calories are going to come from your carbs. Carbs. And this is why you don't really want to look at it so much in terms of percentages right off the bat because you want to make sure that you're calculating your macros in grams and then this amount will equal the amount of percentage that your body needs individually. So an example of this would look like if you are 128 pounds and your required calories in order to maintain your current weight to live a healthy lifestyle is, let's say, 1,800 calories per day. So say you set your protein at 0.8 grams per pound of body weight, that would be about 100 to 115 grams of protein per day. So that would be around 25% of your total calories. And then with your minimum amount of fat required for your body, which is 0.25 grams per pound of body weight, that is 32 grams of fat per day. But let's say you enjoy eating more fatty foods and you want to set that a little bit higher. So we'd go with say 70 grams of fat per day. So that would equal around 35% of your total calories in fat you'd be consuming. And then the remainder of your calories would be coming from your carbs. So carbs are not an essential macronutrient. So in this case, your carbs would be set at 40% of your total calories. And so this is just an example, but it's important that you are setting your fat and your protein intake first, and then making sure that you have enough carbs to fuel your workouts and keep your blood sugar stable. So that's going to be the most important thing. And I hope this quick tip episode gave you a little bit more clarity and a little bit more confidence when it comes to setting your macros. And if you have questions about macros that maybe weren't answered on this episode, don't hesitate to reach out. I am here. I'm an open book and I would love to answer your questions. You can send me a DM on Instagram at Taja Kato. I love you and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.